Well, if you want to finally get a puppy, go on vacation, and borrow a car from your dad, all you need to hear is one magical word. Yes. No matter how hard it may be to get an approval, you will be prepared for everything after this video. Here's my list of people persuaders. 1. Smile. This is the first impression people get from you at the start of any conversation. Be the one who sets a positive tone. If you frown, people will naturally try to defend, and this subconsciously sets them against you. When you smile, you show the other person that you're happy to talk to them, and that makes them relax and be more attentive to you. 2. Give all your attention and be respectful. This works even as setting a good example. If you pay attention to all the other person has to say and to their mood, they'll want to show their positive sides too. They will also listen to you and respect your needs. 3. Don't hide that you need something. How was your day? The weather was good today, right? Have you heard the news? And by the way, I want a pay raise. You can see how fishy that sounds. People are smart and you won't trick anyone like that. So the first point you make in a conversation should be about what you want to get. But there is a trick to this rule. 4. Get your priorities straight. If you know for sure that your roommate won't let you through a party and skip your turn to clean your place, start with the one request that is less likely to get approval. The second one has a lot more chances for success. 5. Make a deal. Present your idea as a collective goal that will benefit the other person too. If it's not possible, make an offer from your side, but make it look like you're just being respectful. Some people will resist any attempt to bribe them. 6. Earn respect. It's easy to do. Never be late, do your part on time, and never miss deadlines. Being punctual and honoring your commitments can't go unnoticed, and people tend to respect this kind of attitude more than any unnecessary heroic efforts or even personal favor. 7. Show your interest. During my days in school, the teacher would often ask the class if someone had any questions. And after an awkward pause, the teacher would become all gloomy. After that, it was impossible to get a yes from them. Asking questions and offering suggestions is a good way to show your interest. It adds value to both the discussed matter and the person you're talking to. 8. Ask for advice. This way, you will make the other person feel important and respected. After all, people like to help others. Just avoid whining about your problems. No one likes that. So keep the conversation positive and constructive. 9. Dress for success. Like it or not, people always form their first impression from the most accessible source, which is how you look. Choose a style that will be appropriate for this kind of conversation. No need to discuss your relationship wearing a suit, you know. 10. Remind them that they can say no anytime. Don't push too hard with all the persuasion thing. It may make people feel uneasy and stressed. When you leave a choice, you show respect and willingness not to put a person in a bad situation. 11. Be thankful. Even if no one's asking anything back from you, give a nod of appreciation to them. Even a small token gift will do great. When you're known as a grateful person, your reputation will start working for you. 12. Establish contact. Start with eye contact. Don't be afraid of looking someone in the eye while asking for something. You're just showing that you're honest to them, and people usually appreciate it big time. People won't trust you if you hide your eyes from them. Even if you're talking with someone you don't know, make a note of their eye color first. This will give a reason to establish eye contact and also make a compliment. 13. Get on the same page. Find something you both share with each other. Maybe you have a similar hobby or same everyday problems. Or you're both fans of comic books. Anything will do. Remind the person about that and build your arguments upon these points. Just stay on a positive side and don't delve into the problem territory too much. 14. Maintain a good posture. Don't cross your arms and don't lock them with each other. It's a defensive position that shows this conversation is a nuisance for you. Most of the time, you'll immediately see the other person copy this posture. 
And from this point, your conversation is probably already going nowhere. Another trick is to mirror the posture of the person you're talking to. This will help to hit it off with anyone. 15. Call them by name. It's a fact that people like the sound of their name spoken out loud. Saying someone's name in a conversation is the key point in establishing trustworthy relationships. 16. Make it personal. This requires a careful choice of words. Start a conversation with something like, you know how important it is to me, or I've been thinking about it for a long time. Show how important it is for you to get what you need. We often think that our desires are easily ignored, but it's not always the case. If you're honest about it, people will listen. 17. Choose the right moment. Don't bother people in their spare time, but also don't distract them from working or studying. For example, a good moment to ask for a day off is right before the working day starts or just after it ends. The first option is better because they will be well-rested and more relaxed than at the end of the day. 18. Humor is your best friend. A good joke that suits the situation counts as two good arguments. People are reactive. They reflect what they receive like a mirror. If you said something positive, like a reason to laugh at them, they will respond with a good mood and a relaxed state. Both of these things are your keys to win people over and get that puppy home at last. <laughs> 19. Facts are much more reliable. Nothing is worse than starting an argument with a joke that went right over someone's head. While you're trying to make your point, try to lean on statistics, facts, and authorities. It's much better if the authorities mentioned are those close to you and the person you speak to. Like the most monumental point in any argument with your siblings is the word of your parents. This kind of thing. 20. Facts are cold. Stories are relatable. Statistically, people pay much more attention if someone starts to speak from words like my grandfather always told me or my favorite teacher once said. Whatever you say after that will automatically gain more meaning. Make a simple short story around the point you're trying to make and people will tend to agree with you. 21. Use simple language. Not because people aren't smart, just the opposite. Respect them in their time. Give information to them in the most accessible form. You'll be able to make your point clear. Nothing bad can happen from that. 22. Keep it simple and don't overdo anything. Wow, that's a long list of tips. But don't worry, you don't need to follow every single one of them at the same time. The most important thing is to stay true and act natural. Keep your ears open and adapt to the situation at hand. If the person you're talking to is moody today, don't bother them too much with positivity and laughs. If they want to relax and have fun, facts and statistics will probably only irritate them. And good luck with that puppy! Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life!